Cool. Hi, everybody. Welcome to COVID-1900 Prayer, devotional hosted by the Christian Medical Fellowship. Uh, yeah, I thought I'd jump on a few minutes early. Hopefully everybody can see me okay. Let me just adjust my light a little bit. Brilliant. Hi, everybody. Uh, as always, the question is, where are you joining us from today? Um, and the second question is, what are you reading, listening to or watching that is encouraging you at this time? Those are the questions today. So if you're joining us on Instagram, feel free to comment below. If you're on Facebook, feel free to do the same. Um, yeah, it's really great to have you all with us. Just going to wait a few more seconds and then I'm going to jump in. Hello, everybody, and welcome to COVID-1900 Prayer, a daily devotional hosted by the Christian Medical Fellowship in the UK. My name is Rachel and I am head of student ministries um, at CMF. At this time when so many people that are working in healthcare are under increased pressure and stress, and they are in need of spiritual, physical, and emotional support, um, we are here to stop and pray for our health service, our nation, and the globe. So thank you very much for joining us. Uh, we would absolutely love to hear where you're joining us from. We'd also absolutely love to hear what is encouraging you at this time. So what are you reading? What are you listening? What are you watching that is encouraging you and helping you at this time? I had a few comments. We've got Timo from Romania, welcome. Good to have you with us. And we've got, oh, another person, Adrian from Romania, Anna from uh, Croatia. Great, really lovely to have you with us. So yeah, please keep on um, sending us your comments in. Great, we are, yeah, we're really blessed to have had people joining us from all over the UK and Ireland and the globe. So wherever you're joining us from, you are very, very welcome. Today's reading is from 1 Peter uh, chapter 1 verses 3 to 7 and actually I'm just going to put that in the comments so that people know 1 Peter verses 3 to 7 so that's on there and I'll put it on Instagram as well so people know where how we are today so let me read that for us Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil or fade. This inheritance is kept in heaven for you, who through faith are shielded by God's power until the coming of the salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. In all this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while you may have to have suffered grief in all kinds of trials. These have come so that the proven genuineness of your faith, of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may result in praise, glory and honour when Jesus Christ is revealed. I really like the book of 1 Peter. It's one of my favourite books. Um, and yeah, so just a few points on, on those verses. First, let us not forget to praise God even in the midst of difficulties. You see, the context for this book we read in verses 1 and 2 is uh, Peter's writing to people who are not where they should be, you know, to the exiles scattered in, and he lists all the different places. Um, and I think so often that we can feel like exiles in this particular time, we're away from our normal way of doing things, our normal routines and life. And it feels a bit weird and it's off, it's kind of put us off center. But more than that, as people that follow Jesus Christ, we are exiles in this world. We are citizens of heaven and not of this earth. And that is a difficult place to be in uh, sometimes. But even though we are in that situation, so as Christians and as people in this time of COVID crisis, we should still praise. Peter also goes on to call us to rejoice in these trials, and I'm going to explain a little bit more about that in a bit. 
Second point, why should we praise? We should praise because we have an inheritance that cannot perish, spoil or fade. What is that inheritance? That inheritance is that we will be able to dwell with God and be his people. So now we're exiles and we don't feel like we belong anywhere, but we have an inheritance that will mean that we will be with God and we will be his people. This has graciously and mercifully been given to us through the death and resurrection of our saviour, Jesus Christ. And it's important, I think, in these times to remember that this inheritance will not be spoiled by COVID and what's going on in the world. It can never be spoiled. It can never be consumed. And I think that we need to remind ourselves of that when the world around us is sort of spinning and going crazy. Um, we are also kept in this inheritance, not because of who we are or anything that we have done, but because of who God is. God is powerful and because he is powerful, he is keeping this inheritance for us. And that is wonderful. Thirdly, so how do we rejoice and praise in the midst of trials? It's a very countercultural thing to be, you know, in a season when we may be facing trials and difficulties, to be wanting to praise our Father in heaven, uh, the creator of all things, uh, the author of our salvation. But because of the hope we have, we can actually genuinely rejoice. It doesn't matter what's going on in the world, we have an inheritance that is secure for us. We have an amazing hope. We don't need to fake anything. We can stand firm on that. And more than that, our faith in itself is shielded. It's not relying on us, but again, it's shielded in the power of God, we read in the verses. This is a faith that not only causes us to praise, uh, but in itself causes praise, glory and honour. So when we share the faith, the genuine faith that we have, and people can see that, they are convinced by that through the power of the spirit and they will also be convinced of that when people when jesus returns so let us remember to hope in that future now when everything's all uncertain and we don't know what's going on and when things are going to change if life's going to get back to normal it doesn't matter whatever temporary things are going on in this earth we have an inheritance secure in heaven because of what jesus christ has done for us through his death and resurrection and it doesn't matter whatever we're missing out on now, walks on the beach, hanging out with family and friends, we have a wonderful inheritance for this secure for us. A place where there will be no more pain or suffering or lockdown, uh, but we will be with God and we will be his people. So now we're going to pray. Um, our region of the day today is um, the north, northern and western region of Northern Ireland. So I'm going to pray for that when we pray for our health services our nation and our globe. So please pray with me. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for the health services and personnel who are based in Northern and Western region of Northern Ireland. Please be with them at this challenging time. We pray for wisdom, we pray for peace and we pray for protection as they go about their tasks serving their fellow countrymen and women. Heavenly Father, we also pray for those who are pregnant at this time, and we also pray for new mothers. It can be a very anxious time normally, but let alone when there's lockdown and uh, coronavirus is um, yeah, in this world. Please keep them safe, Lord. Um, please protect, protect them. Please protect their families and the new life that is growing inside them. We turn to pray for our nation. With the rising death toll, we mourn with those who mourn. We mourn with those who have lost friends and loved ones, Heavenly Father. We know that that mourning comes from the sting of death. Lord, may you be a source of hope, peace and comfort in this time, we pray. And Lord, we turn to pray further afield. We pray for Madagascar today. Please give wisdom to their health um, service leaders and to the government as the, at this time. We pray particularly for the Good News Hospital in Mandritsara. The travel ban has meant that many short-term missionaries are not able to travel in there and staff are stretched. There is also a ban of large gatherings as there is in many other parts of the world. So please pray for wisdom and for the spiritual health of the staff 
as they navigate what Christian community and fellowship looks like in this time. Lord, these times are trying and frustrating for all of us as we see social distancing and lockdown continuing here and across the globe. Lord, in your mercy, sustain us. Lord, in your mercy, help us to find strength and hope in you and you alone. Amen. Amen. So thank you so much for uh, joining us today. It's been a pleasure to have you with us. Um, again, please comment below if you've joined us since we started, where you're joining from, um, and also what are you listening to, reading, and watching that's encouraging you at this time. Um, and yeah, depending on what we get, I might share what, what I'm listening to, reading, and being encouraged by at this time. Uh, yes, so uh, yeah, if you have any prayer requests, please send them to prayer at cmf.org.uk. We'd love to be praying for you. We also have a pastoral uh, care and well-being team who are available seven days a week for those that want to just tell people what's like what's happening in their life uh, at work, uh, want to be pastorally supported or prayed for. This is open to um, all healthcare professionals and students uh, in the UK and Ireland. So please do be emailing wellbeing at cmf.org.uk if you'd like to use that um, service. We've also got a whole host of resources that are available during this time. If you're on Instagram, please check out the link in the bio. If you're on uh, Facebook or YouTube, please look at the description below. Uh, there's blogs, there's podcasts, there's briefing papers, all excellent, excellent resources. And finally, we have our national online gathering tomorrow, which is from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. UTC plus one or British summertime. We already have an amazing more than 850 healthcare professional from around the UK and Ireland joining us. Uh, there are a few more spaces. So if you want to join us, feel free, get booking. You can go to our website, cmf.org.uk, to find out more information. We really hope um, that these times have been encouraging for you and have equipped you wherever you are joining us from in the world, whatever you're doing, whether you're in lockdown, whether you're in a clinical setting. Um, so yeah, please join us again tomorrow. We will be on, even though we've got national gathering, we will be on again tomorrow at 7 p.m. UTC plus one or BST on Instagram, on Facebook and on our YouTube channel. So yeah, goodbye and God bless. I'm gonna quickly scan the comments to see if anybody's uh, said what they're listening to and encouraged by. Okay, oh, we've got some things on Facebook. Oh, Helen is reading um, Habakkuk, I guess in preparation for tomorrow. Uh, Jean de Dieu from Burundi is meditating on John 16. Um, Claudette is, is meditating on the, the verse we've just read today. Thank you. Um, uh, Catherine Hogg is uh, Everlasting Arms by Lou Fellingham. Fantastic. Really great. Oh, wow. That's great. What has been encouraging me today, uh, this week? Okay, so my album that I'm listening to on repeat, slightly controversial, don't at me, people, don't at me. Um, I'm listening to Jesus is Born, which is like the other Kanye album that nobody listens to. It's amazing. I love gospel music. It's full of biblical truths and I find it really encouraging. So I listen to it in the morning. So that's what I've been listening to and I've been encouraged by. But anyway, I'm going to um, say goodbye to you all. So, yep, stay well, stay safe, stay blessed. And yeah, goodbye. See you tomorrow.